Hey everybody, Brandon with Bearded CB82, and today we're coming at you with uh, something, well, I've been using it for a little while, and uh, but uh, even used it before that, but we're going to take a look at something from Capri uh, that they went ahead and sent me out of a kind of surprise, really, and uh, other than that, let's uh, go ahead, flip things down onto the tailgate here since it's a beautiful day, got a shady spot, figured what the hey, hopefully... Uh, <laughs> Uh, kids and neighbors and stuff uh, uh, don't come running around so I can try to get a video filmed. But anyways, let's uh, get things turned around and take a look at what I've got. Okay, so, yep, you guessed it, 3 8 stubby. Now, uh, those of you that know I've been using, uh, was using uh, CP, the Tool Addicts uh, 3 8 stubby there for uh, several weeks. And uh, he loaned it to me to go ahead and give it a shot, and thing was uh, pretty bomber. Um, I liked it a lot. It's nice, small, compact, got just enough power to it to where, you know what, um, <laughs> anything that this guy won't do, I've got a half inch uh, regular that'll go from there. But as far as the 3.8 stubby goes, uh, this little guy is quite impressive. And just, uh, and it comes in this box. Uh, of course, I already removed it and got the manual for it and all the other stuff. Manual's got all the specs, uh, maximum torque 450, and I'm pretty sure it'll do that on a, oh wait, no, that's half. Um, there we go. 320 foot-pounds, nut-busting 810. Um, I use CPs to do a whole exhaust manifold. And anybody that knows how uh, stubborn some of the Cummins exhaust manifolds can be, uh, I have uh, no doubt that it definitely will put out a constant flow of at least 320, if not a heck of a lot more. And then you have the breakaway as well. Uh, definitely. It's a, it, it's a pretty bomber little guy. And then Max Ford Working Torque. Uh, 300 foot pounds. I'm pretty sure it'd probably uh, put that down if you uh, went ahead and did that. But uh, yeah, two and a half pounds, 90 psi. I want to say what was that on the CFM? Working CFM is 4.2 CFM, so it does not take uh, a big compressor to be able to run this. So, but overall. Uh, forward and reverse getting used to one of these again was that hasn't been too bad actually so if I always remember just in along with the trigger to get it to reverse yeah so instead of the neighbors stopping by I saw a kid coming down with his Miata he's got a fart can on that thing and every once in a while he likes to let it rip so anyways uh, yes back to this guy uh, been using this one as you can tell here the uh, past couple weeks been working good stout little thing went ahead put a little uh, the swivel on it that I had on uh, this thing because this thing's uh, finally about had it uh, well actually it about had it a long time before that uh, I got just shy of two solid years out of it before she finally started to started to give it up a little bit uh, this was a phenomenal little stubby comfortable the whole nine yards there and you can even see exactly pretty much all the same on that um, this one's just a shy heavier but overall definitely got to say that uh, <laughs> uh, this is going to be pretty much my go-to uh, problem I had with this was back in November, beginning of December, you could tell that there was definitely starting to get a torque loss to it. Um, the air cap, and you guys know how much I loved this little guy, but I started looking elsewhere and just hadn't quite done it yet. And well, didn't even know that Capri was going to go ahead and send this to me, but uh, hey, why not, right? Uh, phenomenal little gun. Uh, problem I had was when I emailed, it was probably, yeah, right about that time, end of November, beginning of December. So 
just shy of the two year mark on this emailed Eric had a couple times because I didn't have time to call him because that was our busy season and uh, never got a response back on getting this sent out for warranty anything like that uh, Christmas rolled by January finally rolled around got a hold of Aircat on the phone one day uh, took a little bit longer lunch and got a hold of them and uh, they're like oh well it's past warranty when did you buy it blah blah, blah. had all that information for them because I got it just before Christmas like the 22nd or 23rd or whatever couple years back and they're like oh well it's past warranty if you want you know maybe we can go ahead and uh, here's the address you can ship it to our guys and they'll take a look at it find out if it's warrantable or not if you'll have to pay to fix it and it's like I sent y'all some emails a little while back cuz your call times I was always at work um, you know what the heck you know I've it's been a stand-up little thing while it lasted but yeah it just wasn't um, the customer service side from Aircat really sucks and even the gal I was talking to over there when I told her hey I sent out a couple emails I can you know I got the copies of them right here I've sent them out at this day at this time well yeah but the best way to get a hold of us is to call um, you know what uh, yeah no customer service from Aircat really sucks product is great don't get me wrong uh, Capri I know personally I send them an email they'll get back to you relatively as quick as they can which a day business day or two max tops and yeah so um needless to say for warranty purposes um for a lot of things unless i go a different route with a different thing like you know snap on or whatever for my other air impact or something like that which that one's past warranty anyways uh, I'm gonna pretty much be sticking with Capri. I think price tag on this guy is like 140 bucks ish, give or take. Uh, twin hammer action. This one's got a twin hammer as well. Uh, yeah, overall comparison, I'd say uh, <laughs> they're they're performance wise, from what I can tell so far, they're pretty much on par with each other. Uh, I, I like this guy. It's handy. It's in tight spaces. Um, I did like how they had the reverse switch on this. Um, I do like that the power switch here on the back is actually... And it does have some detents to it too. A little bit handier than uh, this guy right here. But um, pretty much this little guy is going to be... Uh, probably going in a junk pile or I might see if I can find a rebuild kit or something or if somebody wants to you know shoot me a price on this and get it shipped out to you or whatever I'll go that route but I think as far as brands go uh, well we're definitely going to be giving this one a heck of a run through here at the shop I already used CPs there for several weeks like I was saying been using this one the past couple weeks uh, loving it so far no issues yet this is a well kind of an unboxing for you guys but um yeah if i have any problems with it i'll be letting capri know i'll be letting you guys know and everything else so other than that um you guys try any of these yet if you've tried the half inch or if you tried this what's been your experience with it if you've had the same warranty problem with aircat you know what's your experience with it um but overall uh leave those comments down below i'd like to know if you've had better warranty or worse warranty uh from aircat and then your performance as well out of either of these two if you got either of these two i think i just put this one to the ringer way too far um yeah i might pull it apart and see what's up with it but uh, that's neither here nor there now but anyways i'm gonna be rocking this guy out just a wee bit more and uh hope you like that you know tailgate unboxing there for you guys so to speak and uh thank you capri very much for sending this out to me oh yeah it does have a really nice rubber over mold on the grip that i actually do like this one 
you had the back here that is over molded which is nice but the rest of it could well it cleans off real well i'll say that much but anyways just a little bitty comfort thing you know the small stuff overall as you can tell size wise dang near the same this one just winds up being a little bit heavier they've got a different style of air motor in here that requires it to run with less air and still get the performance uh just like their uh three quarter inch that i've been wailing the crap out of here for the past several months that thing's awesome anyways um remember capritools.com uh any other questions you guys take care remember shop safety is just as important as firearm safety you screw something up somebody could die we'll catch you later Thank <laughs> you.